Hi and welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and we are continuing our series today by looking at the 2021 external exam in Queensland, paper one for general maths. We're going to go through the short answer questions on bivariate data. Let's get straight into it. Question 16 was a bivariate data question. We were given a table of bivariate data with variables G and H and asked to construct a scatter plot using G as our explanatory variable. Now recall that explanatory means it goes on the X axis. The way I remember is explanatory X, X axis. Okay, so that means we're gonna label our X axes first with a G and then H will go on the Y axis, which is our response variable. So now we need to actually create our scatter plot. So this is where we're using our graphing skills here. So we go from G to nine across the X axis and then up to 3.5 is our first point. Then across to 2.5 and then up to 6.5 is our next point. And then continuing on with that pattern, 4.5 and 10, eight and six, six and 9.5, 3.5 and nine and one and three. Now, constructing the scatter plot itself with G as the explanatory variable would have earned us two marks, one for the actual scatter plot itself and one for making sure that G was on the X axis. So we've done that, we've got ourselves two marks there. The next part is that we have to describe the association that we see in terms of form and strength. It's an interesting scatter plot because it does form a very clear pattern. It's a non-linear graph. Okay, it's an upside down parabola basically. And because it follows a very, very precise curve, we could say that this strength is strong and that's earned us our final two marks, one for non-linear and one for strong. Okay, our next question and our last question on paper one for bivariate data is question 18. The table shows the profit made each year in thousands of dollars by a small business. So we can see we've got years on the left hand side and profit on the right hand side. We need to create a mathematical model to determine the equation of the least squares line to fit this data. So what I need to do is pull out my calculator. Okay, so I'm working here with a Casio today. It's the FX82AU. It's probably my final um, favorite calculator just because I've been using it for a while. Now, it's important to note that in the marking scheme, um, students were actually awarded a mark here, not just for coming up with the model on the calculator, but for also stating what the variables are that they're using in their calculator. So stating that X was the number of years and Y is the profit in thousands of dollars, actually writing those variables down as a statement was worth a mark. I think a lot of students probably lost the mark there because they're not used to writing that things down like that. They're used to just jumping in and creating a, an equation using um, A and B and X and Y. But the problem is, is that you need to state your variables when you're developing a model. A model needs to have all the information, not just an equation. A model also includes the variables around that equation. So if you're ever asked to create a mathematical model, do make sure you state what your variables are. Okay, let's get straight, straight into this. We need to set up our mode as statistics and we wanna choose A plus BX. It's a great place in the menu on a Casio calculator to actually remember what the equation is. But if you can't remember, I always just think of it A, B, X. It's alphabetical order. Okay, so number two. And now we're gonna actually write in here our years, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I put those down as my years, my first year being 2015, um, I don't actually have to type the years in. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna type in the profit. And remembering this is in thousands of dollars. So when it gives us an answer, um, which is gonna be part of our equation, that will also be thousands of dollars as well. So let's type that in here. Okay, clear it off your calculator. It's still stored in the background. Click on shift and the one button, and then all the information you need is under five reg. It took me a while to work out that reg meant regression, because that's what we're doing is working out a linear regression equation. Okay, so we're gonna be able to find A here. A will be equal to 34.266666666 into infinity, and clear that off again. Shift one, and using our regression button five again, two will give us B and that's 4.2857. You're going to want to write that down off your calculator because that's what you're going to use to make your um, equation up. Okay, so now we're going to write our equation. A equals 34.2667 and B equals 4.3857. Bring that together into an equation. You get your second mark for part A. Okay, part B wants us now to use our equation, the least squared line, to forecast the, forecast the profit for 2021 to the nearest 
hundred dollars okay so if you would recall this is in thousands of dollars so firstly when we put our answer in there um, and we're going to be substituting in um, the value that um, x is equal to seven because that's the next year so we're going to put that into the equation and that correct substitution earned us a mark for recognizing that it's the seventh year so when we put that into the equation we're going to get a value of 64.269 but we need to recognize that this needs to be given in thousands of dollars but to the nearest hundred dollars so if I was to actually now change this into thousands of dollars to give the profit in dollars I'm going to get sixty four thousand two hundred and sixty nine dollars in 2021 but the problem is that's not rounded to the nearest hundred dollars so I need to actually round up the 269 part of that to 300 and this will get me my final answer sixty four thousand three hundred dollars in 2021 well, that's all we have time for. And that's the only bivariate data questions in the short answer part of the paper that wasn't multiple choice. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, why not share that in the comments with us? Tell somebody, share it with a friend or a teacher, like and subscribe and hit the notifications button so you'll always know when there's a new video coming up. And if you've got any questions about something you've seen in today's video, you can contact me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com.au or direct message on Facebook and Instagram. Great place to connect with McClutchy Maths. Well, I'm Natalie McClutchy. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.